a small package has hatched here at the San Antonio Zoo. And joining me right now to tell us more is Brent Nelson, aviculture manager. Tell us a little bit about this latest bundle of joy. Well, we had a Micronesian kingfisher hatch out on July 4th. And this is really important because there are fewer than 140 kingfishers in the entire world. They are completely extinct in the wild and they are only found in uh, human care. So besides that, having one hatch is, is incredible because the parents, when they get together, do they typically get along right away? No, um, th this species is very picky with their mates. We have uh, population geneticists look at their genes um, and kind of go through computer models to figure out who the best ones are to put together for the long-term survival of the species. I always think of it as like going on a blind date. You can think, oh, these two people are going to be really good match for each other, and then it turns out that's not the case. The same thing with these birds where you know we'll put them together and it could be like oil and water they just do not get along from the start it just so happened that these two right here uh, when we put them together in march it was love at first sight they just had that chemistry right exactly <laughs> we put them with visual access side by side so they could see each other we didn't see any negative displays any aggression between each other so when we put them together uh, within a few weeks we saw them doing courtship behavior years um, they would go to the nest and start doing um, the nest building activities that they have it happened really really fast so you mentioned typically they are not native to Guam but what has been the struggle for them there about 1950 um, some airplanes coming back from the Pacific Theater in World War II used Guam as a landing station. And one of those planes had a stowaway on it called a brown tree snake, which is native to some of the islands in the Pacific. One of these snakes got off onto Guam, which has no native snakes at all. So it was like paradise for the snake. There were no predators for it. It had an unlimited food supply that had no defense against snakes, no competition. So within 30 years, it wiped out six of the eight endemic species that could only be found on Guam. There were only about 30 kingfishers that they were able to save and bring into human care over in the United States. And from there, we started the um, captive breeding population to try and save the species. So tell us a little bit about the Micronesian kingfisher chick. So this chick hatched on July 4th. We noticed that the parents were in the nest log in the back. So we took the egg and artificially incubated it in one of our machines. Uh, so that way um, it would be in safekeeping just in case the parents weren't good. You know, if they're inexperienced, they might not know how to take care of the eggs. And with each egg being you know, about 1% of the entire species population, we didn't want to take that risk. Uh, so we brought it over into incubation, hatched it out, brought it over to our brooder facility to hand rear it, and it, it's eating like a champ. It's doing everything that it's supposed to be doing at this stage. Uh, it's, it's very vocal and complains to the keepers when it's hungry. So if folks want to come see the Micronesian Kingfisher, they can come here to the Hickson Birdhouse, right? Correct, yes. The, the parents right now are living in the Hickson Birdhouse, um, which is at the very far end of the zoo. So if you wanted to see these birds, the best Best chance right now is to see them on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And for more information on the San Antonio Zoo, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.